to do more cardio. I tired. <sighs> you guys, like, you're ever just like, oh, you're comfortable, you're chilling, you don't want to do anything, and then Fitbit's like, hey, fat ass, get up and get your steps in. That's me. Like, every day. <laughs> um, hi. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Z, a lover of anime, fashion, just a general lifestyle shenanigans. And that's what we talk about here on the channel. Okay, so this one is pretty much going to be like a loggy vlog kind of situation. Just chilling because I don't have really anything planned for the week. And I have an idea for like a fashion look, like lookbook situation kind of sort of thing to come. But I don't know if I have all the clothes to make the looks I want. So, clothes? Clothes? Yeah, I said that right. Oh my goodness, I need to do more cardio. <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys. I recently started reading A Quarter Thrones and Roses. I started this um, maybe two days ago. Watch out for 25. I thoroughly love this. Like, I mean, Sarah J. Moss can do no wrong. Not gonna lie. But I have been so spoiled for this book, it's not even funny. And I'm struggling because I know that I'm going to hate like dislike Tamlin most likely in the next book and I'm struggling with that ideology because I really like him right now <laughs> and I'm just like what do you mean what do you mean it's gonna be different soon I don't know what to do <laughs> I was like it's my first time reading it but like I watched I watched Jody talk about it she's on YouTube at Vanilla Moon I've watched Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte talk about it. Like, they're honestly like my all time favorite booktubers. I'm not even gonna lie. I even watched Alexa, who's at Alexa Ray. Um, she talked about it. Destiny Sidwell talked about it. And I was just like, ugh. So I'm finally reading it. And I'm just like, I'm freaking obsessed. But I don't want to dislike Tamlin. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not emotionally prepared for the damage that I'm going to face because right now I really freaking like him and I'm struggling <laughs> with this like no shit I don't know have you guys ever like experienced because I don't know why but I really do actually enjoy spoilers like I used to ask my best friend Raya like all the time I'm like hey so um what happens next and she's like I'm not telling you like just tell me like because, I don't know, I can have a book, like, I can be spoiled, but still look forward to it and be like, mm -hmm, I knew that was going to happen, mostly because I was spoiled for it. But, I'm not ready to not like Tamlin, you guys. Mm, I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm not okay. <sighs> but pretty much this week, I have nothing going on. Yeah, yeah, pretty much nothing. I might have... Did I? Okay, yeah. I, I made another purchase on Thrift Books. I don't know when that's going to get here because I, I did it today. Also, I was going through shopping withdrawals because <laughs> there was fraudulent activity on my debit card. So then I had to get a new one. But I couldn't buy anything because they turned that one off. Because, like, I get it. I, you know, I get it. But, like, I was having withdrawals and then I realized, you know, you probably have a problem with this. And I was like, I do. I'm just not working on it yet. We're not there yet. I'm not that mature. Okay, I'm not, but I, I can admit that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I was having that. I was just like, I just want to spend money. Like, it's mine. Let me spend it. And I couldn't, and I was struggling, because I don't want to put it on a credit card, because I'm like, ooh, <laughs> credit card debt. Not fun, not fun, not fun at all. <sighs> credit card, but your credit limit, necessary evil, but, like, <clears throat> credit card debt. Sis is another level. I still need to work on it, because I had a shopping problem. It's okay. I'm fine. We're fine. I'm fine. 
I need to calm down sometimes, I swear. I didn't even have coffee today. I had pre-workout, but no coffee. Got a small workout. Oh, <gasps> which speaking of, I have lost so much motivation for working out right now, and yeah, it's just gone. Like my alarm clock will go off at like eight, and I'm like, mm -mm, we're not doing it today. It's not happening. And I don't want to work out at night because I prefer working out on a, an empty stomach because like if I work out and I have a full stomach, it like honestly just makes me sick. But yeah, so I like wake up and I'm just like, Meh, not feeling it. I'm trying not to be so hard on myself. So I did a small, I did, I did a small workout today, which wasn't that bad. But like, you know, Lily Sabri has a new plan, I think. And then of course, Chloe just dropped hers. So, oh, I'll, I'll, I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Working out is not what I want to do right now, but it also is, but it's not. Do you guys have the struggle? Am I crazy? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I am going to get back to reading. Um, I might finish this today. I might not. I don't know. I don't have anything else going on, so why not? But, yeah. I'm going to get back to reading. Thanks for chit-chatting. I'll see you if I do anything special, relevant, comical. <laughs> no, we're not funny. Yeah, that's my little update. I'm not ready to dislike Tamlin. I just, I can't. <laughs> ah! I'm sad. Okay. I mean, I can't wait to get to the next book because it's super good. But, like, I only just started. Like, I don't really know, but, like, everyone talks about it, so I'm, like, hyped for my, myself. Definitely enjoying it. I'm also reading Spells Trouble still, which is, it's been really good. I do enjoy it. I don't know why I, like, like flip flopping. I don't know. I can't commit clearly. And then I have another book I'm actually reading on my Kindle. It's called The Dead Circus. I'll like put up a picture right there. But it's been really interesting. I actually like flew through that one for the most part. I'm not done because commitment issues. And there's a lot in that series. But I don't know who the author is at the moment. Scratch that. Kimberly Lemming. I'm pretty sure that's who wrote it. But yeah, that one's actually really good right now. Um, so pretty much this girl is sent from her parents to like this circus camp to help out her uncle, but he's not actually expecting her. So he's like, I don't know why the hell you're here pretty much, but like, it's called the circus of the dead and like a lot of creepy things happen, but I'm not like truly there yet. And I don't want to do any spoilers in case you guys are like, Oh, Hey, it's an interesting read. I mean, if you have read it, let me know. Cause I would cool. Let's talk about it. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm reading. And then. I have still yet to fully commit to House of Sky and Breath. Uh, I don't know. It's just like, it's so big. It's intimidating. But like, it's it's so good. I really do enjoy that world. But yeah, I'm just over here reading A Quarter of Thorns and Roses. Dreading knowing that eventually I'm supposed to dislike Tamlin or something. I don't know. Maybe I will just be Team Tamlin. But I highly doubt that considering how everybody else feels. I don't know. Maybe I'll go with flow. Make some waves. Probably not. Alright. This is a long goodbye. Anywho. I'll see you when I see you. Toodles! I'm sorry. Every time I turn on the camera, I have to yawn. Okay, so. A little update. It is the next day. Um, I got way farther in A Court of Thorns and Roses. I... I'm, I I still love Tamlin, okay? I do, I do. I really do. I don't know what to say. But, besides that, a little anime update, because, you know, it's, it's what I, I'm obsessed with it. So, I was at Walmart the other day, and they had these new shorts. So, I, I, of course I got them, you know. But look, they're so cute. Like, I got these Naruto ones, and I don't know, I just love this color. I think it's fun for summer. I like wearing boy shorts when I just want to have, like, a fun, comfy fit that day. And then I also got another pair, so I'm actually, I'm wearing them. They look like this. Look, they're Demon Slayer, and then they got this on this leg, and they're fun, so I just had to throw on a little Demon Slayer, <laughs> Demon Slayer shirt. I got the shirt at Target. 
Um, and yeah, but they were only, only $14.98, so not too bad, because sometimes I feel like when, like Walmart was 14 sometimes I feel like when I'm at Target and I get something like this, they're typically 16 so yes, because that is how much the Dragon Ball Z pants I bought wore. The shorts they were shorts not pants but they did have some sales actually they had this uh pair of jujitsu kaizen sweatpants and i wanted them so bad i should have taken a picture sorry but i wanted them so bad but they only had them in a large and an extra large and i like i put the large up and it was like it came to my chest and I, i'm short okay i'm only five two but yeah so i was like oh these are gonna work like if it's wearing boys pants i can get away with a medium but that's it. They <laughs> can't go any bigger than that. So yeah, they had these. So you know, don't walk but run to your local Walmart. Catch you some anime merch stuff that is cheaper than Hot Topic. We still love Hot Topic. We really do. But like, I'm just not always trying to pay $24 for a t-shirt. Especially with the cost of living right now. Inflation. Anyhoosies. I got... That's weird. Oh, it's a YouTube notification. No, it's not. Oh, someone wants me to spend more money. Those are the only things, the only kind of notifications I actually get. So, did I tell you guys I got more books from Amazon? I don't know. Did I? Probably not. Okay, so <laughs> I did. Um, will I ever be on a book buying ban? No. No, mm -mm. That's, that's not going to happen. Okay, so I got, so I did start, um, I finally like decided to get the book of the month. So I started it last month and this is my second book of the month purchase. So for the book of the month, I ended up getting the Collected Regrets of Clover. Um, I, know, I liked the little blurb on the Beth. Death she gets, it's life she can't quite fig quite can't quite figure out. I wish I could speak. But yeah, that is the book of the month I got. And then I got an add-on. And this is Christina Lauren, and it's the True Love Experiment. And I, know, I really liked the cover. Uh, so, I don't know, it says, Sparks fly when a romance novelist and a documentary filmmaker join forces to craft the perfect Hollywood love story, but only if they can keep the chemistry between them from taking the whole thing off script. So, I don't know, it sounded super cute. I liked Christina Lauren's work. I feel like they're two people. It's like Christina and then it's Lauren. That's kind of cool. But I liked their work with Love and Other Words. I actually really enjoyed that book. So, I wanted to try something else from them. So, I got that. And, like... It's gorgeous looking. And then this this is um <laughs> I I can't I can't say I don't have a shopping problem. We clearly know this by now. So I got other books. Okay, so I have a ballad of never after. And I wanted to read that by Stephanie Garber, but then I heard that, did I talk about this in last week's video? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> so, but I heard that, like, some people say you can read A Ballad of Never After without actually reading the Carnival series, but some people are like, no, read the Carnival series before you read Ballad of Never After, so you, like, understand bits and pieces of certain things. So, I just bought the whole entire Carl box set from Amazon. I think this was only like $38, so it really wasn't that bad. And they're all hardcovers. So, yes. And then, uh, also from Amazon as well, I got Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRue. I don't know. I just, I, I like a good dark romance. I do. Um, evidently definitely look up like trigger warnings and things like that and she I guess she has a list of like like a kink list pretty much and oh yeah actually literally in the front of the book there's a content warning so definitely look that up before you start it but I don't mind a good dark romance so this will be interesting 
And then while I was at Walmart perusing for anime related stuff, I got the Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. So this was only like five forty nine. So I was like, you know what? I kind of why, why not? It sounded cool and interesting. Um, you know, a girl in disguise, three legendary dresses, the competition of a lifetime, like a book, fashion, stuff. We're here for it. There probably could have been better words to explain that, but I don't have them at the time. But yeah, and then the cover is just so pretty. And then <laughs> I also went to one of my favorite used bookstores. Um, actually, I went last week, but I went to Hooked on Books. Uh, they're here in the Springs. They have two locations. I've talked about it. I've showed you them before. I'm just letting you know. So I ended up picking up three from them. I got a manga. So this is book two in Hibiki's Magic. I have the first one. Um, yeah, I just wanted to grab the second one. And then I saw this one. This is by Jenny Bayless. It's called Meet Me Under the Mistletoe. I think I'm going to read this for Christmas, like during Christmas. There's a few other books. Like, I'm not going to lie. There's like the Tangled in Tinsel or whatever it's called. It's on my Amazon books to buy this. But like, that's smut. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> but yeah, so this is pretty much a city bookshop owner heads to the English countryside for a holiday reunion only to face her childhood enemy. Um, but yeah, it's like, so this girl had to go to, the, this girl went to like the super rich bougie school on a scholarship and she didn't really fit in, so to speak, but then they have like a reunion where she like meets up with all of her class friends and they go to the super like fancy pantsy like resort hotel kind of situation and then she meets one of her rivals from childhood. So thought that would be cute. I'm gonna read that during Christmas because clearly my well time Christmas. It just makes sense. And then I finally got Light Lurk by Alex Astor. Everybody, I, I feel like this book is already well talked about. Everybody knows the next one is coming out this year, but it was only $10. So I was like, you know what? I might as well. I might as well. But yeah, those are that's my update. I'm still currently reading A Quarter Thumbs and Roses. Um, I'm also reading Spells Trouble still. Really, really enjoying it. Um, it's definitely getting good. So I cannot wait to start like the next two. I'm glad I already have the whole entire series. series. I can speak. Because uh, I bought the third one first. That is so amazing. But in Husies, that is my update. I'll let you know when I... Okay, I'm not gonna lie. When Tamlin, is this a spoiler? That might be a spoiler if you haven't read it. I'm not gonna do that to you guys. But I almost ugly cried yesterday. <sighs> but it's okay. I'm gonna get over it, especially when, you know, evidently I'm supposed to dislike him in the next book. I'm not ready for that, you guys. I'm not. All right, that's the only update I have. So, Walmart anime shorts and stuff. Check it out. They got good deals. Okay, I'll see you when I have anything else interesting to share. Yes. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh, I got an owl crate box. <laughs> hi hi. So, I'll poop every time. I don't know why, but anytime I actually like look at the camera, I automatically yawn. I don't know what it is. It's nothing to do with like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Anywho, I got a box. It's from Owl Creek. Owl Creek. Technically, I got this yesterday. Um, but I was tired. And I didn't feel like doing anything. To be honest, I haven't really felt like doing anything at all this week. So really, we've kind of just had some chitty chat chats about books and life and stuff like that. Hope you liked it. Thank you for being here as far as you've gotten to. Yeah. Okay. So let's open her up. So I cut the bottom so it's easier open. I don't know why I can't speak English. It's just not it. It's just not it for me. But I opened the bottom, but I never opened the box because I was gonna do, you know, full reveal everything with y'all. Okay. So here's the. I will create a little card thingy, spoiler warning stuff. So the theme of this month is called Against All Odds. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's this. 
Okay, this is... Hmm. I don't know what, there's, what this is. It's from Lake Eden. Frost. The Shire. Oh! <laughs> it says the Shire. Oh, clearly Lord of the Rings. Aaron. Ar Arnor? Aaron. I need to rewatch Lord of the Rings. I never read the books because, like, oh my gosh. But I clearly need to rewatch it. Oh my god, a bowl! Oh, that's so precious! So, fourth Erlingus. I'm guessing, is is that Elvin? I don't know. I It's been it's been a minute. Oh, it says Rohan in the, like, so it says Rohan in the middle of the bowl. She look, look, can you see? Kind of. Okay. And it's just got like these cute little detailings on the edges. So it's like a little horsey and a little tree-esque looking thingy. It's just cute. That's cute. That's cute. It won't break that. Okay. What else do we got? Um, is this a coloring set? I feel like maybe if I read the spoiler card, I would know what I'm opening up. But that's reads the instructions okay so n no what what is this okay so <laughs> i guess i'll show you the front of it so the front looks like this and then it pretty much just says sometimes only through a story can a truth be heard and then on the inside it says stories are both an escape from the truths of the world and the only way to see them clearly i actually don't know what that's from it looks like that on the inside. Isn't that cute? But there's another. Okay, there's nothing on the inside, but that that's still cute. So what are you, a pencil holder? That's cool too. I'm cool with that. Noodles. Okay, what is this? Choose your words carefully, even the words you think, because they become seeds and seeds become history. way that's cool oh my gosh okay so it's a uh, like the little stampy stampy thing is I don't know what they're called <laughs> they use them in like the medieval times to seal letters <laughs> I don't know what it's called anywho <laughs> candle for the wax itself um, the candle's actually really pretty. It's got like this little decorative detailing on there, can the decorative detailing on it, and then this has like a little book stampy thingy. So that's really cute. She cute or whatever. And then it's going to be the Oh, this is based off of We Hunt the Flame. Hmm. Okay. So it's a for it's a pin for pin collecting. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so the pin looks like this. The beauty guru mode on. And then it actually opens. And then on the inside it says chapter one, the lost magic of Arawea. I feel like I need to go buy out buy more books now so I know what this is, but here it is. It's really cutesy, and that's what the front looks like. Yeah. So that's what the pin looks like. <sighs> why, Brody? Why? Oh, okay. And then, what is this? Transparent bookmarks. Oh, that's cool. I got an owl crate last month, but. The bookmark you had to make it and I'm not really arts and crafts CE ish don't ask me what these are based off of but they're gorgeous okay so the three little bookmarks look like this let me hold on let me figure out how y'all can see this bookmarks look like that honestly they're like see-through so I had to use my laptop so you guys could actually like see them 
in detail, but they are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Like, okay, Owl Cray, I see you. I see you. And last, but but not least. Oh, okay. Get, get out of the box. Ow. Oh, okay. Sneak peek of Bonesmith by Nikki Powell Preto. I think that's how you say that. Oh, that's what the book is. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's called Divine Rival. Oh, okay. It, wait, no, wait, what? I'm so confused. Okay, <clears throat> box cutter. And this is the little explanation-y thingy. Oh, okay, so the book is Divine Rivals. Why did it... Well, that's something completely different that I was confused by. Okay, see, <laughs> basically it came with this little sneak peek card. So, and then the letter from the author. So it is Divine Rivals, and then... I'll put a picture right here, what the original cover looks like. This is the Owl Crate Edition. And that's Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This Bonesmith is something totally different. Why is that in there? Now I'm curious. Oh! I just got it. If you scan the QR code, then you can get a sneak peek of this book. Yuck. <laughs> okay, so this is what the actual book itself looks like. This is what the back of the book looks like. It just says, I want your hand to be in mine no matter what comes. Oh, that's really pretty. So, back of the book. It's got these really pretty stenciled edges oh it's all around so that's super duper cool and then the end pages look ask you see you do your mind okay so the end pages look like this oh my goodness that is beautimous 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 oh wow that is so pretty okay so the naked cover is even in the silence, I hope you will find the words you need to dare. Wait, to what? To need to. Oh, the words you need to have. Oh, wow. It's it's in very fancy cursive. Don't judge me. And then this is the spine. And then right here on the back is just like that. And then the end pages on the back are the same as they were on the front. So cool or whatever. But here's where the real goody lies. Why is everything so hard? Voila! That's pretty. Look at that little printy, 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 printy. It's cute. I'm intrigued. Oh, and that's fun. So, oh, and it is signed by the author. Cool! Okay, trying not to mess this up. Oh, that's weird. Okay. So I'm positive this little doohickey right there isn't supposed to be there, but like it's okay. I really don't mind. I'm not like. I'm not picky about books, I guess. Maybe I should be. I don't know. I'm just not. That seems like a lot of energy. But this is super pretty, so I'm excited. I have no idea what it's about. And I think that's cool. I actually had an owl crate last month, and I got uh, Silver in the Bone by Alexandra Bracken. And honestly, a lot of people are talking about this because it came, I'm pretty sure it came in like aluminum, 
Alumicrate or Fairy Lid. Came in one of those. But their cover looked way different than this one. And I honestly, I like this one better. I think it's pretty. But yeah. So that is that. Got another book to add to the collection. Along with stuff. Stuff. We like stuff here, you know. We're a enjoying stuff kind of channel. Yes. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> I'm not even tired and I cannot stop yawning. Do, uh, do I look? Uh, you know what? We're not going to get too close to the camera. I don't want you guys to know how busted I look. Because honestly, I don't think I've worn any makeup whatsoever in this vlog so far. No, no, I haven't. Any whoosies. So, I don't have a reading update because I haven't read since whenever I had the last reading update. Because I am so obsessed with freaking Dead Man Wonderland right now. Like, you guys, I am like... Okay, we haven't talked about like animes or anything like that. So, <clears throat> Dead Man Wonderland was actually a suggestion my brother told me to watch. So, I was like, cool, bet. So, I was watching that with my dad. And like, whoa, why haven't I watched this sooner? It's like super action-y. It's, um, so the genre, I guess, is it's considered under is like action like what's that word dystopian ha <laughs> i remember look at me knowing words so it's a dystopian post-apocalyptical genre so in case you're not interested in like bloodshed and things like that don't don't do it don't do it like it's kind of gory not even gonna lie there's a lot of if you are you know sub versus dub i don't like i don't care sometimes i want it in dub so i can just like watch and play on my phone at the same time because I have the attention span of a squirrel but <clears throat> so I if you don't have like anime enjoying parents um I wouldn't say watch it around them because it's quite violent and um there's a lot of inappropriate words it's very it's one of it's more of a mature for thing for like it's, it's seinen 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 senin senin I think that's how you say that. Don't quote me. I really don't know. Words are hard. Anywho, so it's that kind of anime. Basically like Vinland Saga, Tokyo Ghoul, um, Attack on Titan is, yes it is, yes it is, Attack on Titan, um, things like that. So you will, it's not really made for younger audiences. It's more like 18 and older for the most part, but it was still pretty dope. Like, the plot is so interesting because, so pretty much, like, without any spoilers, a kid is wrongfully convicted and he's put into a jail and, like, he is surrounded by criminals and this dead man wonderland, which is what the prison is actually called, is full of, like, you know, actual hardcore killers and... So he pretty much has to figure a way, he wants to figure a way to prove his innocence, get out, and then survive at the end of the day through this crazy jail system. It's, oh my gosh, definitely give it a watch. Like seriously, huh, I'm hooked. Honestly, if I wasn't, if this wasn't a show I decided to watch with my father, it would be finished by now, but he doesn't like binging episodes. So I have to take breaks. <laughs> ah! so annoying I just want to finish it there's we only have two because there's only 12 episodes and there isn't any kind of like guarantee if there's actually going to be like another season coming I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of tempted to look into the manga of it and see like if anything else happens or what's going on but yeah huh totally socks gone wig snatched fling it across the room it's so good I am here for it um, and yeah, that's pretty much been my week. It really wasn't like, it was probably like one of my like least active vloggy vlogs, but sometimes I just, uh, like I just don't want to do anything. So I try to share some of the more like interesting things because I clearly am always buying books right now. Um, so I hope you like that part. 
um if you made it this far in the vlog thank you so much i truly appreciate you i really do it means the world to me that you're here we're hanging out and we're just vibing over fun things um so i upload videos on saturdays if you like it definitely think about subscribing that would be great let's uh, you know grow our little community if not it's cool i happy with what we have i think it's fun um and yeah comment anything down below what you're reading what you're watching i'd love to know um yeah i hope you have a great morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and as always be bold bright and beautiful but most importantly be yourself that's all i got so bye yeah i never met someone like you oh to your mama she a blessing